So this is great. Now you go down to the beach and, and you've got schools of bunker and the fish don't hit. And I, I was trying to decide whether I want to go to the pictures, but I'll, I'll go to the pictures at the end. Um, one of the things is sometimes you get, you know, we're seeing too much bait in the water. And a couple things I've done in these situations, which are always really frustrating because, it, I mean, the bait's there, the fish, is, the fish are there, and they won't hit. Um, a couple things that have worked is, you know, first of all, a bucktail really has a pretty nice profile for a peanut bunker. Something that's worked with me, and I gotta say, this has worked for me with big bluefish, but not so much on bass, um, is get rid of the pork rind strip, because it's, this is a pretty good match. Um, you know, you try different things when you get in these situations. This has worked well for me, big blues. Um, another thing is, I mean, look, I don't know if anybody's seen, this is a tidal tail bucktail. Uh, they're made by John Knight, Hudson Point, or Hudson Park, Hudson Park, bait and tackle. Uh, you know, this is a really specialized bucktail. In fact, it, you shouldn't call it a bucktail, it's a weighted fly because they put way too much thought into this. They've got, you know, all kinds, it's basically what a fly tire would do, except they did it on a bucktail head. Um, and the point is that it's a bucktail that was tied to be used without a trailer. I mean, this catches fish, no trailer, no pork, no uh, grub tail. And times where I've had fish be real picky in the bunker schools, this has worked for me. Another thing that has worked, and this is definitely out of frustration why I have fish in front of me just would not touch a thing, is I've tried to just crank the bucktail really fast and then just drop it like this. So that bucktail is going through the school and then comes straight down from that canopy of bait. And I can just imagine if you're a game fish underneath that bait canopy and all of a sudden something comes straight down like that. Um, for whatever reason, that can trigger something. It doesn't work every time. It's worked for me times where, oh my God, I spent two hours doing like nothing. And then the first time I picked up on that, oh my, it just changed the day completely. So just, you know, little tricks with peanuts. The other thing is, you know, boy, if you go down the beach and there's a peanut bunker fuel blitz, you know, what do you want to do? You want to get up there in that big mess of boiling water and fish splashing and all that. And yeah, you know what, I'm going to start in that too if I'm just getting on the beach. Maybe I'm going to start in that. Um, but the nice thing about the bucktail is it, you can work it underneath the schools very nicely. A lot of the better fish are going to be underneath those schools picking up the scraps. So yeah, you see fish breaking. And yeah, the guy throwing the atom popper is catching some fish. But you know what? In terms of peanut bunker fuel fishery, many times I see the better fish are being caught underneath with bucktails. And it's not just underneath, it's let the school go by and just keep fishing. Because a lot of times there's residuals, they're coming up behind those schools, they're lazy, it's the better fish, they're picking up stuff off the bottom. And I'm not gonna chase the school. And I've seen times where you just stay in one spot for over an hour and just keep catching while the main body just moves on down the beach. Um, and, you know, yeah, you don't have fish busting in front of you. It's not obvious. The funny thing is, is to watch the trucks. While you have a bent rod, watch the trucks just drive by you. I'm catching fish. I would assume that's what you want. I'm not arguing with them. Yeah, go down where the other guys are. Yeah. But uh, it's just one day in particular, I must have had 15 trucks just fly by me while I had a fish on every single freaking cast, and they were nice bass. And they just wanted to go down in the crowd where the birds and the trucks were. Uh, just, just keep fishing low and behind the schools uh, with the bucktails and make a big difference. <laughs>